morning, friends. Okay, so took my eyelash test when I'm about to go to the doctor. And there's my strip, so not quite positive. And then there's my digital, which is a blinking smiley face. So that means hi. We're waiting for the smiley face to be not blinking. Because when it's not blinking, that means peak. So I gotta put some shoes on and a jacket because it is so chilly here. And I will get back with y'all in the car. All right, what do you think? I'm ready. Is it gonna be today or do you think it's gonna be tomorrow? No, I think it's gonna be today. Okay. Last time your, your follicle jumped so fast, so I don't know. I guess we'll see. Kind of like whatever. <laughs> you said it was going to be today. Good lord, ma'am. Ah uh ha. -huh. It's like you're buying breakfast. I know, right? <laughs> That's what Adam would say. So what's the average in terms of like follicle growth from day to day? Is there? It changes. Everyone's different. Um, textbooks will say they should grow about two millimeters a day. Clearly, I'm outside but, of that range. Right? Yeah. Because the same thing happened last time. It was like two mm -hmm. days and ten millimeters. Right. Crazy. Right. So the this smaller one is a 15. So okay. you're not quite there, but still will probably ovulate and that might give you like round two if the first one doesn't take or it might give you round two and take two okay i don't know what's really good it's stuck in there woohoo i have some empty soon it's doing something in there. I'm telling you, when I like when I'm not medicated, my body doesn't do anything, and when I am medicated, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> you so said you wanted a literally baby. everything it's supposed to do. It's crazy. And this is one. It is. This was one that was kind of questionable. Right. It's one or two, but it is one. So y'all kind of both won. It's a tie because <laughs> we're going to do insemination today because of the, the larger one. Okay. Um, but you've still got the, the two others that are kind of what we call secondaries that will continue to grow as well. So? So? Are you right today? <laughs> Um, yeah, apparently I've got like crazy steroid follicles or something. I don't know. I'm telling you because there's no reason. <laughs> First of all, the other nurse told us one millimeter a day. Right. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. One to two. And it's just the difference in so people. same little schedule as last time we're going to get some breakfast and um i don't think we're gonna do chick-fil-a this morning and then ask you, what do you want i don't know well i don't know and then we go back for the iui she said that i've got one really big one did you say 23 or 25 i think she said 25 i don't remember I don't i'll have to go look back at the footage but i'm pretty sure she said 25 millimeters and then I have two secondary follicles. One is 16 and one is 15, I want to say. That sounds right. 
Um, so we're gonna go do breakfast and then go back for the IUI and we will check in with you guys then. So turns out I'm an idiot. Do we have IHOP time? We got 45 minutes. And uh, why aren't we eating at Chick-fil-A, babe? Because it's Sunday and they're closed. Because it is but the Lord's we're Day. Idiots and forgot that. I'm oh, just kidding. It is the Lord's Day and Chick-fil-A is not open on the Lord's Day. So we're going to IHOP. It's done. Simba, it is time. It's all done. It wasn't nearly as uncomfortable as the first one. The first one, lots of cramping. And it took a long periodically time. It did take a long periodically time. The second one was shorter. And I predicted the sperm count. I hope people know that we know the word is not. Peri periodical. Yeah. Periodically, not periodically. I sincerely hope. I'll link that video down below. Yeah. Check it out. It, it's <laughs> funny. It, check it out. It went from worse to, to worse, sir. We have to wait a long periodically time. The buses are not clean. Buses is nasty. <laughs> the buses is not new. <laughs> I'll link it down below. Y'all should check it out. Anyway, um, I'm laying here for a few more minutes and then... I got some crafts and stuff to do at home, but I'm pretty much just gonna take it easy today. I'm just, I'm really Yeah, we tired. want that. We wanted to swim, girl, swim upstream. I'm very tired. So, thank you guys for watching and following along with this second IUI. Hopefully our last IUI, but we shall see. We appreciate the support. And I'll update you guys in a couple days or like a week or so. I don't know. Thanks. Thanks. Subscribe. Subscribe. And turn on the notification bell. And turn on the notification bell. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. So this video was supposed to be over already. Um, as you saw, we had our IUI today and I look like crap because I came home and took a nap. Um, but I took an ovulation test tonight. Um, I was having some pain. I get like really, I don't get pain, ovulation pain. Um, as much as I just get like discomfort, I feel a lot of pressure, um, like right around the time of ovulation. Say hi, Bailey. Um, so I decided to take an ovulation test just to be sure. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, I do a, a digital test and a strip. I've always done it that way. Um, I think it, it all started because I didn't know how to read the strips, which if you are in the TTC community, you know that that can be kind of complicated. So anyway, I went ahead and took a strip and I'm going to show those to you guys really quick. Um, so here is the strip. So basically, um, the line closest to the white side, you want that to be darker or um, at least same color as the one closest to the blue side. 
And then on my digital, it's all smiling, which means peak ovulate or peak fertility. So that's awesome. Um, so we'll count tomorrow as one day uh, or one DPO and one um, day past IUI and we'll see how it goes. So uh, if you stuck around for this, thanks you so much for watching and um, I'll be kind of updating you guys. I go in on Tuesday for a progesterone draw just to confirm ovulation. So that will be hopefully good. Um, and then back on May the 6th for a pregnancy test. So keep up with what we've got going on. Um, don't forget to subscribe, click on that notification bell so you don't miss when we upload a new video and I will check you guys next time. Bye guys.